Our next and final speaker for the evening grew up in Warwick, Rhode Island, and is the youngest of three boys. He graduated with a marketing, marketing degree from URI in only three and a half years. He's the past chair of our chamber, the Southern Rhode Island Chamber of Commerce, and currently sits as chairman of the Town of South Kingstown's Economic Development Committee. He is truly a pillar in our community. Please welcome Mr. Larry. Woo! Thank you. I hope everybody listened to Seth tonight, because if you don't do what he told you to do, you become me. I'm a diabetic. I have coronary artery disease. And the sex pot, I'm not allowed to talk about tonight. So instead, I'm going to talk about coronary artery disease. Very simplified. And in layman's terms, coronary artery disease is when there's a plaque, plaque buildup in the vessels of your heart that cause a, a blockage or a, a slowage of the, of the blood flowing to your heart muscles. And the easy way out is a stent. Generally, as an outpatient, they put in a little spring, clear out the artery, and you're good to go. But then there's times when you need a bypass. Now, a bypass, they take a power tool and they cut your sternum from stem to stern, open you up, put you on a hot lung machine, stop your heart, take, harvest a, uh, a vein from your leg or your arm, do a little jump over the blockage, close your back up, you're in the ICU for four to seven days. In extreme pain, they give you a, a pillow to hug to ease the pain. And then, once you're all released from the hospital, you're in the back seat. And you're in the back seat for three to four weeks as your, as your chest uh, heals. And you're a lifelong member of the Zipper Club. In De December 2010, I went to Rhode Island Hospital expecting to get my third stent. But they told me I needed a bypass. Now my... His, uh, my uh, my hero was Dr. Steve Ferrer from South County Hospital that told me that maybe I didn't need a typical bypass. There was a new procedure being done up in Boston. Let's check on it. We found my magician, Dr. Robert Poston, who was on his way out to Arizona, to the Tucson Medical Center, uh, I mean to the uh, uh, University of Arizona Medical Center where Gabby Giffords went after the shooting, where the Javik 7 artificial heart, first artificial heart was created. And I was to be his first robotic bypass patient at that hospital. Using the Da Vinci robot, he cut three small incisions over my ribs. Two for the arms of the robot, one for the camera, and two small incisions for the, uh, the drains he sat at the end of the table with his joystick and used my mammary artery to bypass the blockage. I was in the, the uh, operating room for less than three hours from nine to noon. At four o'clock in the afternoon, I ate a full turkey dinner. <laughs> and I ate every bit of it because I was starved. <laughs> By eight o'clock that night, I walked one lap in the ICU something that no nurse had ever seen there. They were coming out, they couldn't believe it. My nurse was, didn't have anything to do. I told her to go help the other patients. <laughs> the next day I worked, walked a half a mile, a mile the next day, and a mile and a half the next day, and they kicked me out by 11 o'clock in the morning. And I, I went to uh, the pool in the afternoon to relax, <laughs> and I took this picture and sent it to my doc as a, as a joke. The next day, I went and we walked in the mall and took in a movie. The next day, we, we went out into the desert to Old Tucson and walked around in the desert for three or four hours. <coughs> the, uh, I was exercising at South County Hospital three weeks to the day of my surgery. Now, normally, it takes you two to three months to do that. In my surgery, I had a, an artery, my mammary artery done, 
as opposed to a vein. It's much better. Now, I've been told 20 to 50% of all bypasses can be done this way. Which bypass would you want? It's a no-brainer, <laughs> right? Then why aren't more done? Why are there only a dozen in the world that do this? It's because we all don't know about it, right? So tonight, I'd like your help in letting me, let, letting me spread the word to your friends and family so they don't have to have a typical bypass. They might be able to have this. Help me spread the word. Thank you. Thank you.